here with Reaction, Fox and Friends weekend co-host Pete Hegseth, Fox News contributor Jason Chaffetz, Texas Congressman Louie Gohmert. Uh, we'll start with you tonight, Jason. I'm watching Farmer Mike. I mean, his comments on race. You just put a you just put a seed in the ground. You cover it with dirt. You put water on it. I'm like, wow. Is that as can you be that ignorant? Is it possible to be that stupid and say, oh, farmers don't have gray yeah, matter? I, uh, I actually liked what Devin Nunes said. You know, Devin's an actual farmer. I've been to his house. I've seen the farm. I've seen how their family makes a living. And I got to tell you, when he compared Mayor Bloomberg to somebody who thinks that you just buy a Chia pet and pour water on it and things grow, I mean, that guy thinks he's going to be the president of the United States, but he's going to finally get challenged, and I don't think he can pull it off. He is not up to this, Sean. Congressman Gohmert, we got, uh, yep, Farmer Mike saying that murderers and murder victims fit one, not two, one MO. You just take a description, you Xerox it, you pass it out to the cops. They're all male, minorities, 16 to 25. And then people say to me, so, you know, you're, you're arresting kids for marijuana and they're all minorities. He says, yeah, that's true, all minorities. Why? Because that's where all the crime is uh, and that's where we put all the cops. Only in my yeah. now. I live in New York, Louis. I could tell you that is an absolute lie. Yeah, and that is also extremely racist, and it's incredible that he's gotten away with it as long as he has. But uh, you look at the jealousy and the the bigotry that's going on in the Democratic primary. I mean, you got Bernie. He is so upset with with. Uh, the billionaire, it, it's got to be bank account envy because he's only a millionaire uh, as a socialist. You know, I love the Bolshevik Bernie that you use. That's so appropriate. But, you know, uh, Dostoevsky apparently said uh, the problem with socialism is not economic. The problem with socialism is atheism. Because once you move into socialism, it becomes the god. And there is a, a small little ruling class at the top and then everybody else. But also, uh, Buttigieg, uh, it remi he reminded me of the, the story Jesus gave us about the Good Samaritan. Remember, the Good Samaritan saw the guy, he'd been beat up, he brutalized, so he ran back to the Sanhedrin and the governor and said, you gotta put a tax on everybody else so that we can go take care of this guy. And, and we need to take everybody else's health care away so we can go take care of this guy in the ditch who died while, you know, they were back there uh, trying to get taxes on everybody. That's not what Jesus talked about, obviously being sarcastic. Uh, so uh, obviously he's got a lot to learn about Christianity. Uh, apparently he's still on the milk part, hadn't gotten to the real meat. Yeah, All right, let, let me go to Pete Hexit. Just imagine this was Donald Trump saying exactly. these racial comments and you know for all the feigned outrage over everything with donald trump and women wow uh i can't repeat the stuff that we now know about bloomberg that has been reported even by the washington post i guess they were forced into it um but the reality is what this is how they really think yes exactly if donald trump said a fraction of what michael bloomberg said he'd be pushing grandma off the clip He'd be, well, they already call him a racist, but these are outright racist remarks. Here's the thing, though. Yeah. I think what we found is a third similarity between Bloomberg and Trump. They're both uh, from New York. Uh, they're both billionaires. Mm -hmm. But here's the reality. They both speak a truth. Now, Donald Trump's truth was he's saying out loud what the forgotten men and women were whispering for years as they saw the elites sell us down the river. Donald Trump, he yelled what we were thinking, a guttural scream of middle America. Mike Bloomberg is speaking the whispering truth of the elites. This is what they truly think about middle America, about the deplorables, about those, the people that work hard for a living. He just made the mistake of saying it on videotape before he had national ambitions in changing his party yet again, and it exposes him for who he is. It's why Donald Trump won, and it's why Mike Bloomberg can't win. We now know who he really is. How does this resonate? Will, will the Democrats and the media mob, Jason, will they go after all of the things he said about minorities and women and farmers? I mean, I'm shocked if they do. Yeah, I'd be shocked too. I'm not going to count on 
the national media to do any of this. But the American people are smart. They sniff this stuff out. And you know what wins elections? It's authenticity. It's a plan for America. And it's the energy. Donald Trump brings all three of those to the table. That's why he destroyed the, the Republican field and won the nomination and ultimately the presidency, despite all the national media. But America is sniffing out. They're starting to figure out that the hundreds of millions of dollars that Bloomberg's putting into this is all a facade to protect Lord Farquhar, the person from Shrek, who really isn't who he says he is, and they're going to go figure this out. And that's why Elizabeth Warren does poorly. That's why Pete Buttigieg is now, you know, peeled back the onion. And it's quite frankly, I think how Bernie Sanders does pretty good because he, at least you feel like he's authentic. He doesn't hide from it. He Louis, is a socialist. He's not a Democrat. Uh, the mob's going to ignore this, Louie? Yeah, they will ignore it. Uh, uh, they'll go after him about as aggressively as uh, they did after Hillary and and Brennan and Clapper and Comey and McCabe for their apparent crimes, uh, Sorry, which Sean, was not at all. Real quick, Pete. They'll worse than ignore it. If he becomes a nominee, they will parrot it. They will advance yeah. it on his wow. behalf. Really? They're yeah. going to say that about African-Americans and farmers? Wow. Well, okay. they'll, they'll apologize.